Okay, so now that we have checked the quality of our reads, we can move on to aligning them. The traditional sequence alignment algorithms, particularly the ones that we discussed in the first part of this webinar, um, cannot be scaled to align millions of reads. They just weren't designed for that. Um, newer programs have been created for short reads and, um, and a lot of reads that first index the genome um, using indexes such as the Burroughs Wheeler to uh, allow for ultra-fast, memory-efficient alignment of the reads to our reference. And here's a, this is a public service announcement that I want to make. Next generation sequencing alignment algorithms are changing very quickly and they're evolving to keep up with the rate at which um, sequence throughput is increasing. And so we'll go through some programs today, but I would highly suggest that if you are going to do this um, in the future, that you look into the literature and see which algorithms people are um, using at the time, because these ones may not be the most ideal at that time. Okay, so the set of sequence alignment programs that we're going to talk about today are called the Tuxedo Suite. Uh, these include bow tie, top hat, and couplings, hence the tuxedo. So bow tie is a very nice program for doing fast and quality aware alignments of short reads. Um, and this quality aware portion is taking into account the quality scores that we saw in the FASTQ format. So this is for aligning um, mostly DNA to DNA, but it's also the backbone for aligning RNA to DNA in the program Top Hat, which is splice junction aware, or um, identify splice sites. Um, and this is, this is used for RNA-seq reads. It's built on top of Bowtie. And then um, another program within the suite is Couplings. Now this is not for sequence alignment. It's actually for um, prediction of transcript abundance. Um, but it is uh, built on top of the top hat, bow tie and top hat, and so I wanted to mention it here. Okay, so bow tie is available for Windows, Mac, Linux, and Solaris operating systems. Um, this is not something you want to use just for any sequence alignment like BLAST. It's um, designed specifically for aligning um, short reads to large genomes. Um, and Bowtie forms the basis for Top Hat, Couplings, Crossbow, and Myrna. These are both uh, cloud computing programs that we're not going to talk about today. Um, and the online manual and information about how to download Bowtie is available here. Um, and it is very helpful for understanding all the options that are available as it gives a description on the website. All right. So, as I mentioned before, these newer programs for aligning next generation sequences index the genome first. And so we need to create this index before we can do our alignment. To do that, we'll use um, this Bowtie Build program within Bowtie. Um, this is, we would want to type in the command line. So you type in Bowtie Build, any options you want to give it, and then um, the reference sequence and the base of the index name. And below this, I have um, an example with these options filled in. So uh, we didn't use any um, any options outside of the default, but we have uh, each of the chromosomes listed here. And then test index is going to be the, the base name of the files that are going to be generated by Bowtie Build. You can use additional options that you can uh, see with this dash H option or on the website to improve performance. So this is our, our index. And then we actually need to align our reads using this index. And to do that, we'll use um, the program Bowtie within Bowtie. Um, this is the command line that you want to use. So you'll give it all of your options. And then uh, we need to give it the sequence, and so you you can align single-end or paired-end uh, reads, and that 
this is basically telling you that you can use any of those options. And then you want to give it your output directory. And so here's an example of how we can use that. We'd say bow tie our, um, we want to give it our index. So it's test index that we created up here. We need to tell it, uh, we want it to run as a quality aware aligner. So we need to tell it the scale that the quality is in. Um, so the Selexa 1.3 falls is going to be appropriate for um, newer Illumina data. Um, and then we want to give it the sequence name here and the output. Okay. So this, there's additional options that we can use to uh, modify how our alignment is going to operate. So in the default mode, Bowtie runs in a Mac-like model where it's quality aware. But we can also run Bowtie in a soap-like mode by giving this dash V option, which is specifying how many mismatches will allow in an alignment, and it disregards the quality of those reads. Um, other options that we can use are the dash A, which tells Bowtie to report all of the valid alignments. This can be hundreds for some reason. We might not want to do that. We might want to say, no, only report up to two valid alignments, which we can do with the dash K option. Using this dash dash best, we say, don't just give me any two, give me the best. Dash M, um, we'll say if there's more than two possible alignments, don't print anything. Um, and we could do this if we want to have only unique reads. And then finally, uh, uniquely mapped reads, that is. And then finally, we can specify, I'll put it in SAM format, which is then compatible with SAM tools that you can use for SNP variant calling and manipulation of the alignments. And there's many other options. This is just a few of the ones you may want to use. Um, so the next program that you could use for gen, um, alignment of next generation sequencing is Top Hat. This is available only for Linux and OS X operating systems. It's built on Bowtie and it uses the same genome index that Bowtie used. Um, and this is used for aligning RNA seq reads to the genome. And um, in Top Hat, this has been optimized for paradigm reads. Um, that are greater than 70 base pairs. Um, and here's a link to the manual that, again, um, has examples as well as all of the options. So how does Top Hat work? Like I said, it's built on Bowtie. So what's happening here is it's going to align all of the reads using Bowtie. There's going to be a subset of those reads that can't align because they're spanning an intron exon boundary. So it's then going to take everything that couldn't map, split them up, and try and find where they can map on both sides of the splice junction. And then it's, it's going to use that to help um, determine where splice junctions are and where these unmapped reads um, actually align. So we are starting to run out of time, so I don't want to talk about this uh, in too much detail, but um, here's the command line options for running Top Hat. And this is very similar to um, what we saw for bow tie, but here we're going to act, um, also give um, options about the intron size. So I have here the default sizes, and if your um, organism does not fall within these values, you're going to want to specify what it should use. Um, if you're using paired ends, you need to specify what the uh, predicted distance is between those mate pairs. And then, um, this option allows you to run on multiple threads, um, basically using multiple CPUs so that it can run faster. So a nice thing that you can do with the output from Top Hat is generate what we call these wiggle tracks. Um, and this allows you to view the coverage of reads that you have in a genome browser. So we will take the output from Top Hat, which is a FAM file, and this is the binary of the SAM file. We'll convert it to a SAM file and use this Wiggles program that's within Top Hat to create a Wiggle track that then can be viewed in programs such as 
um, the integrated genome browser or um, integrated genome viewer. And um, this purple here is an example of a wiggle track where we can see um, all of the reads that the coverage we have across this gene. So this is a nice way to view your alignments that you've done of your next generation sequence.